Okay, I'm going to take you through today's circumference and rotations. So going to the problems. A wet bicycle tire leaves a trace of water on the floor. The circle has a radius of 30 centimeters, and the bicycle wheel makes three full rotations before stopping. How long is the trace of water left on the floor? So remember that when we're doing these problems, that circumference equals pi times diameter. So in this case, you're given the radius, which is 30, which means the diameter is twice the radius. So the diameter in this case would be the radius is 30. The diameter is 60. Okay, so they say three full rotations. Full rotations means that you're finding the circumference it's going around in a circle three times. So what we need to do here is we need to, first of all, figure out what the diameter, I mean the circumference is. So the circumference is a rotation. So I need to do 30 times pi times 2, because the 2 times the 30 gives you the 60. I could have just did 60 times pi. Equals, and now that needs to get multiplied by three full rotations. So 3, so the answer is 565.48. So they want us to round to the nearest centimeter. So 565 should be the correct answer. Okay, Allison is rolling her hula hoop on the ground. So again, that's making a full circle. So it's a full rotation, full circumference. Again, it says that the radius of her hula hoop is 35 centimeters. So if her radius is 35 centimeters, that means her diameter is 70. So to get the circumference, the whole distance around, again, that is pi times diameter. So pi times the diameter of 70 gives us the whole circumference times the fact that this happened four times gives us 879.645, so again, nearest centimeter, this would be 880. Okay, the second hand on a clock is eight centimeters long, so the second hand on a clock would be the radius, because the second hand on the clock, this is a clock, the second hand is going from the center out to the side, so that's the radius is eight, which would mean that if the radius is eight, then the diameter has to be 16. So they wanna know what is the distance the tip of the second hand travels in 10 minutes? So in 10 minutes, you're gonna be here and you're gonna go all the way around, so you're going around 10 times. So again, we need the circumference, which is pi times diameter, times, um, the number of times that it went around, which was 10, okay? So, when we go here, we want to go to, I'm just going to get off of that, it be 16 pi, And actually, we can't use that pi. Um, we need to do times times ten. Five hundred and three is the answer. So again, diameter times pi times ten because 10 minutes, meaning it went around for the 10 minutes. Um, 
And there you go. So the last question. Benjamin is riding a unicycle. The tire of his unicycle has a circumference of 2.8 centimeters. So the circumference is 2.8. So the distance around the circle, all the way around the circle, is 2.8. And the tire revolves 1.5 times per second. So every one second, it's really going around 1.5 times. They want to know what distance did he travel in 100 seconds. So every second is 1.5 times going around, and every time you go around is 2.8. So this should be 2.8 times 1.5 times 100. So it should be 420. Hopefully this helped some.